It's like people religious with the Bible. When a man write the Bible, first and foremost, a woman couldn't read the Bible. A few women alone could have read the Bible. See? So even though that book was supposed to be a good book, it's only a few people read it. So what do you say people do? Because there's some people in ignorance, they have doubt. So if they can't read it for themselves, no, alright. Hey, you see the Bible is a powerful book in the fire. I mean that a Bible man, you know. But I'm judges. I read that school there. Eh? Because they make you read some things. You know them called the synoptic gospels, Matthew, Mark and Luke. See? So you hear them now, when you go to school. In that book, them also ask to explain what these things mean, you know. Matthew, Mark and Luke, them say the synoptic gospels because the things are more the same. When you read a book there now, and that book there, them say Jesus say, If thine eye be single, then thy body will be full of light. In Matthew 6. How do you mean by that? If thy eye be single, thy body will be full of light. Now you start reading more things, you find him talk about your third eye. Him tell a man, say, must go to the man because and tell him says, I am who have sent him. I am is a special word because you know, arm. The Sanskrit word arm. Present I am, you know. And the metaphysical Bible is the word Jesus also translates into I am. And it's the I in man. You know what I say? It's the I consciousness. The Rastafari I talk about, you know. Which is that perfect state, that perfect consciousness in the fire. That's what I'm talking about. I and I. People in perfect state. It's the same principle in man says, Tell me that this I am who has sent me, and the man who has sent you, I'm going to give you a donkey. Which means, say, that there's here some man that is space who have a way for reason. We have a certain wavelength. Who know, and we go to him, man, who say, It's I send the I, man, so I'm going to deal with the I properly. Them teach about levitation, when man say, I walk by water. Them teach about alchemy, which is changing water into wine. Them teach about meditation. Transportation, because I say, you have a point when I'm transfigured with Peter, James, and John, and Elijah, and Moses, because I'm transformed into pure light. And them could have seen him. So if they could have seen him, that means they third eye home. They are also clairvoyant. And you know what I say? All these things, they tell you. And when importantly, that same man now, who them say dead, and rise from dead, if you saw the, the Indian man, them, like, Several of them flesh, them talk about only in paramounts and yoga, them call it breathless, deathless. Where the man them can bury themselves for all months. Cover them. And after a couple of months, they wake up. You have to that man's higher consciousness to speak to that as well, too, still. So they must say, Yahushua sure I learned of them things there. When make him try them through Indian, through Kemet and read. But remember, I say, that you to come out of the Essene, you know. Essene are very special to the people, not the Hebrew people. And you link that back to Melchizedek. I remember, say, Melchizedek is the one who them say, first, Start to teach Abraham. Then I write another book, I never talk about it. I say, Abraham and Melchizedek are his way come from the slaughter of the kings. And so after that, he becomes this enlightening being, you know, which is A, which is first, and Braham, which is the band. Braham is the Indian word that means divine consciousness. So Abraham becomes the first man with divine consciousness. And all the time, a nation of people who are divine people are supposed to emerge. Just like when Jacob moved from Jacob to Israel. Because him saying rest with himself at Peniel, a Peniel gland. He will come in line and transform from Jacob to Israel. Having what? Twelve children. So he will cover each of the zodiac element. And him thirteen child with him daughter dying, him can control the lunar element. So you can show you, say the man that was Israel now was a terrible metaphysician who three children could understand all of the things we are going around him. And I twelve tribes in the fire. So twelve tribes say, yeah, Gideon. I'm going to tell you what the characteristic. You are Hebrew, you are Reuben, you are Benji. I'm not, because them, it is specific. And them give you colors. Is that what you So it's a thing where when people reach certain kind of consciousness, man. And them show you clearly with that book. And him say another book. You have the greater things than what him do. And then them say him rise from the dead. So if you can rise from the dead, means you can conquer birth and death. When rest of our people tell you, I know you can't then, you have a problem. And the ultimate teaching in your religious book, for the man who you read the most, which is Jesus, Yahushua, say, you are going to conquer birth and death. And you have doubt. You know what I'm saying? I have doubt. So now, if the people are allowed to read these things to themselves and understand for themselves, you couldn't control them. Because my sister don't need no pastor. He don't need no pope. What he need to do is to go in there himself. 
and all throughout that book fire, that youth attempts to go in there and say, we're going to find who you want to find. Because he learned of these things when he makes him one shot and things still. And in practice, remember you know, them tell us when I time he reached a certain age, which was 13 or so. So you know, same day on the cults now between him youthful stage, I'm adult stage, I'm, I'm third I start to crystallize. I'm going to church and start running the man. Him. Guess why? Because the man was supposed to do some ancient practice. They take up the Roman people and practice. And him as a youth who come out of church and say, but then now they not the man. We not trick the people him. and become rebellious. So he tells you, him that go for an ancient liberty. I'm telling you, Virgin. Note in the stories, you know. In the feeding of the thousands, them. Him say, I feed him fish and bread. It's an illusion. Because fish was not fish as meat, no. It was in the Piscean age. So fish represents the knowledge or the food of that age. Then bread is a word that generally represents food. So I give them knowledge, which is the fish, and food. For them belly. I'm real, I'm real, I'm multiply it. But yeah, no, it's that hard to understand because you know some more time when I want a reason there, you like the reason. You come back, you don't realize you're hungry either. Because it's like the reason, flow up your head and flow up your belly as well. So the reason that multiply and all people are learning and people are feeling satisfied because they might get to find themselves for you. Now, a pastor don't want to tell you that. And I know the Bible, I find it for you. But I show you, say no. I see. What is in that book and what he can do. That's why dangerous because the man use the same book. We can guide people so much to themselves. They them become so dependent upon something outside of themselves. When everything that book there is to tell you about how you should know yourself. You take it out. Yeah, man. I mean, I've learned compass when I go to school and judges in the fire. I know it is the irony. There is a subject of rebellion against the most, you know. We can teach and be in trouble. And uh, yet still, I have found that that subject of religion is one of the most relevant subjects I have ever done. Because they get good insight as to what they tell the people and what they don't tell the people. And you understand why people continue to be tricked by religion as against becoming enlightened through the same teachings. So the same thing that make people come enlightened is them you to control them. You see? And yet still, note, there is no way in that story there without you trying to build a religion. That you never tell people nothing about religion. You see? And the most non religious people use the same information to create a religion for people to control them. Well, let me hear you say, Mount.